buyer beware. Think of a blinking sign in front of you that says buyer beware, because you better beware that the condition of that property is your problem the day you buy it. If you're a beginner in doing tax deed investments and you're wondering where to start your tax deed investment venture, well, you came to the right video. We have Ted Thomas here, who is the tax lien and tax deed authority. Now, Ted, I know there is no best state to do you know tax deeds, but could you recommend a couple states that are particularly good for beginners to start in? Maybe a little easier to work the system? Well, sure, you could call them uh, user-friendly so that they're, they're relatively easy to get started. So. Why don't we call them user friendly instead of best? Because the trouble with picking best is as soon as you pick best, well, then something changes. And everybody said, well, you said best for so and so, and it's six months later and everything changed. So why don't we talk about user friendly? And I would talk about um, Michigan. As a matter of fact, while we're talking about this today, we have uh, 15 people on a buying tour of Michigan right now because this is the time of year that when they do the auctions in Michigan. So 15 people on a buying tour is quite a bit. They're going to Kalamazoo and places like that. So so I would say Michigan. And uh, also, we can talk about New York if you like. All right. Well, I'll tell you, well, let's start with Michigan. So what is it about Michigan's tax deed, you know, sales system? What, what makes it a little more simpler for investors to maybe find the properties or operate? Well, Michigan uh, took the time to organize things. By that, I mean, they created a website. They call it Tax Sale Info. Tax Sale Info. OK, so Tax Sale dot info and uh, that uh, site has a lot of information on it so people that are learning how to do this if they go to that site they can get a lot of the details now michigan has 83 different counties uh but that site only has 77 of them on there but you know that's more than enough for, for a person that's getting started and the details are there they can they can look uh information up before they ever even dream about leaving home to go look at the property they can get a lot of information. And do they do they set up the information fairly simply on that website? No, it's, it's actually a piece of cake. And sometimes um, Michigan's been very good about actually taking pictures. Now, I'm not a big advocate of using uh, pictures from the internet because who knows who modified them when the picture was taken or whatever. But Michigan tries to take a picture of it. If it's available, they'll, they'll put that on the site. Now, you're certainly not going to buy a property by looking at a picture. You need to go walk on the property and have boots on the ground and know about that property. You don't want to buy from the picture. But the point is, it gives you a little sense for what is this? Is it got a hole in the roof as big as a car or is it a relatively good property? And do you want to include it in one of the group that you're going to look at in the particular county that you're going to look? So, Ted, what time of year does Michigan have their tax auctions? Okay, well, they do their auction generally July, August, September, um, but that's just kind of a general rule. They can change that anytime they want, but generally speaking, they wait until the summer is well into the summer and into the fall, but that's what Michigan does their auction. What kind of payment options do are they accepted when you purchase properties on that website? Okay, well, both Michigan and New York are very good about that. Um, uh, payments could be credit cards. Now, there's only three states that do credit cards. And by that, I mean, if you want to pay for something, you could pay for it with the credit card. All right. Now, uh, the other states don't do that. Now, Michigan does that and also New York. So we're going to talk about both of those today. But whenever you want to know what the payment process is, you need to just go to the county website and read the rules for the auction. Now, every county is going to have their own rules. So I already said there's 83 counties in Michigan. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there was 83 different rules, because what really happens is the state overall, the legislature makes the rules for the auction. They take those rules, they make them the law, and then they push that down to the Board of Supervisors, county's commissioners, and the county commissioner directs the, either an ex officio sheriff or a treasurer to enforce the rules and administer the whole auction. So all of the administration of an auction is done at a very local level. So that means that the rules can be done in different ways and different auctions. So if you happen to be in Kalamazoo one day and then you're in Ingram County another day, well, you need to know the rules for whatever auction you're going to be at. Okay. 
So uh, we just got done covering Michigan. Let's talk a little bit about another beginner friendly state, uh, New York. And you mentioned New York. Is there also okay. an online site for New York tax deeds? Well, New York isn't quite as flexible as Michigan. Uh, however, what New York does is they have um, um, what they call um, uh, outside companies to do the work for them. In other words, they are going to hire outside auctioneer companies. All right. Now, there can be different companies in different counties. All right. Now, but basically what they'll do in New York, uh, they use one company more recently, we're watching they call AAR Auctions. Okay. And you can go to their auction site if you want, and they'll actually bring up brochures where you can see what the properties look like. Now, let me see. I might have a couple of those with me here. Let me see if I can find one of those. Yeah, here I have one. Okay, so uh, what happens is in New York, they have 62 counties, and I'm going to talk about that for a second first. But each of the counties can decide whether they want to have their own auction. By that, I mean... uh, uh, when I started in the business, I had black hair and I was skinny and it was 25 years ago. All right. In those days, we went to the auction. When you got there, it was a county employee doing the auction. Well, this has become much more sophisticated in that now what the county did, they get themselves out of doing a lot of work. What they do is they hire an auctioneer to come in and conduct the auction. Now, that auctioneer company goes out and takes pictures. They make brochures. I'll show you one of those right now. Okay, so this is an, an auction brochure we just photographed from the internet. And you can, you can get the same auction brochure. And in the back of it, they got all the auction rules over here. Tons of auction rules. But then in the front of it, they'll show pictures of the properties. So anybody can go and download this online. They can download it. And when they download it, then they'll have a picture. And remember, you don't buy from a picture because... I don't know how old it is or what the quality is or anything else. All right, so you don't buy, but it gives you an idea whether it's a two-family house, one family, whatever. It gives you some idea of the neighborhood. And then all the information is listed here. All right, now, I said New York has 62 counties. 60 of the counties sell tax-defaulted properties. Two of the counties in New York sell tax lien certificates. Now, the two counties in New York that sell tax lien certificate, a Suffolk County and Nassau County. Both of those counties are on Long Island. Okay, they sell tax lien certificates, and that's different than a tax deed. So everything along the Hudson River and West, they're going to sell tax defaulted property. All right, so those auctioneer companies will go out and take pictures of the property. They'll give information about the property. Now, they're not taking a lot of responsibility because they know that the county has already told everybody, whenever you get an auction brochure and you look in the back of it, it's going to have all the rules of the auction and so on. And all those rules back there are going to tell you what? They're going to tell you the county takes on no responsibility for the condition of the property or anything to do with the title on the property. In other words, if the title has defects, that's your problem. The county is saying, we're selling this property as is. Now, let me tell you what as is means. As is means buyer beware. Think of a blinking sign in front of you that says buyer beware, because you better beware that the condition of that property is your problem the day you buy it. And that title is going to have defects or anything wrong with that title. That's all your problem. The county is saying we're selling as is. So anybody that wants to buy at a tax defaulted auction, you're taking on risk that's right up to the top of your head when you buy. And if you're buying and you're not looking, you're taking on an enormous amount of risk. Well, at least it's good to know that New York has this website where you can get that information, see the properties, get the rules. and Wait, hold on a second. New York doesn't have a website. Every single county has a website. Okay. In Michigan, they have a website that's going to help you a little bit. In New York, the individual auctioneers are going to make a brochure, but that individual auctioneer, they're not going to be responsible for what took place. So this is an auction brochure from the state of New York, and this says Dutchess County. It also says there's 166 property. This is it's downloaded from the internet. That's all I did. Downloaded from the internet. In the back of this brochure, 
They'll give auction rules, okay? Show you auction rules are back there. All right, you need to know those. If you don't know them, that's your responsibility. Then all those properties that said they had 166 properties in that brochure, then they show pictures of all that. Okay, this was made by the auctioneer. The county is taking zero responsibility. If you're gonna get involved in this auction, you got to have boots on the ground and know what you're doing. Well, if you uh, if you find a piece of property and you've taken you know a good look at it, you think it's good. What about the payment methods uh, that they accept in New York for tax seat auctions? Is it the same as Michigan? You can use a credit card. How do you pay for it? You could pay for it with a credit card. So someone could go and get this brochure, and then they could just buy and never have looked at that property. So they would give that credit card to the county. The county would process the credit card. And what if the house had burned down? What if there'd been a flood? What if there'd been uh, any other kind of problem like a hurricane or, or we've had people buy properties and a tree fell the next day on the property? Well, you bought it one day, you own it, it's your problem. So you're gonna have to insure it. You're gonna have to know what you're doing. All right, that's why we have these classes so people can understand this is not a business for amateurs. This is a business that needs, you need education more than anything. Now, Ted, I'm pretty sure you have experience uh, purchasing tax deeds in New York, and maybe you could share with all these folks who are beginners, maybe just share the process. What was it like, you know, from registering to the researching to attending the, the auction? What I do is I, number one, as soon as I find out about the auction, I go and I look at the properties that I w am interested in buying. And then I make all my notes and I take pictures with a big iPad so I know exactly what I, what I want. Then when the auction takes place, before the auction starts, I review all that and then I make sure I know what my exit strategy is going to be. Now, if I know what I'm going to sell it for, then I know what my maximum bid is going to be. All right, then when the auction takes place, I can actually sit in my office and buy online because they'll take a bid in the room, then they'll take one online. Then they'll take a bid in the room, they'll take one online. But I don't have to go to the auction. I can do it online in the state of New York. So they do both. All right, but I don't buy anything that I don't have a selling strategy. If I don't have a selling strategy, I just don't buy it. Or if the bidding gets uh, starts moving up to where I'm very close to my limit, then I just stop and I end it. So I jokingly say, wear a white shirt and write on your sleeve what your maximum bid is gonna be because you don't wanna get all excited because if you bid too much, yeah, you might get the property, but what are you gonna do with it if you pay too much for it? So you kind of get the idea. So what advice would you give to somebody who's starting out in tax deed investment? What should their next step be, Ted? The first, the first step they should make is they've got to get, figure out, do they understand what a tax deed is? Do they understand what a tax lien is and the difference? Then they can go to their own local county and get the rules for whatever auction that county is going to have. And then from that point on, if they think that they're going to, going to go to auctions, they're gonna to have to study the county records that the county's providing, and they should know what they're doing. In other words, knowing what you're doing means if you're willing to buy something, well, that's fine, but ultimately you're gonna to have to sell it. Do you have a strategy for doing that? Do you have someone to talk to? Do you have a coach? Do you have a guide? Do you have someone that's gonna help you? That would really help a lot. You know, if any of you watching have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below because Ted's team, they look at those questions and Ted answers those on future uh, future videos. Hey, one more thing, Ted, how, how would folks then, what's the best way of them knowing when an auction is coming up, whether it's in Michigan, whether it's in New York or any other state? Okay, the easiest thing to do that doesn't cost you anything is go to your local county website. But if you wanna know about the whole, whole United States, yeah, all of the auctions are listed in the newspaper. So you could go to a local newspaper, like this is a local newspaper. It's a list of, of, of basically thousands of tax liens, or you could go right below me and you could see new auctions that are taking place. Then you could start researching property, sitting at your kitchen table. You could research all 5,000 auctions that'll take place this year. You can go right below me and you can see a demonstration of all that. It's right below in the description. Hit the link and take Ted up on his offer. Thank you for watching, everybody.